we are walking into the Zika forest right now. We're with our pals from the Ugandan Virus Research Institute. We are going to set up some insect traps and discover new viruses. This tower is to study which mosquitoes bite at different levels. You can see those extensions. Yeah. They could put a monkey in a cage and then mosquitoes come and bite these animals. The aim was to study yellow fever transmission. But in the process, they got another virus. It was named Zika virus. These live bird markets are prevalent throughout the developing world and the tight quarters that these animals are in make it very easy for pathogens and infectious disease to spread from animals to humans. Almost 70% of human infections actually come from animals. There is a high concentration of poultry from different regions where they are exposed and come in with different infections. With the population increases in these countries, should the world be afraid of a crazy bird flu pandemic at a level that we've never seen before? For now, the major threat actually is those diseases that we are unable to contain. Deadly airborne virus is potentially a nightmare scenario. So why create it? To prove that the H5N1 bird flu virus could acquire the traits of becoming airborne transmissible. What we did in the lab was nothing different from what is happening in animals around the globe every day. Flu pandemics happen every 20, 30 years without any involvement of scientists, mad scientists or good scientists. 